This here is Percy Peabody telling you it's time for Leonard's Losers. With Leonard Post Toasties, the world's greatest football prognosticator. Tell him about it, Lenny. Well, thank you, Percy, and howdy, football fans. 2020 is off and running, and our pigskin prognostications are proof positive we can prevail over a pandemic at least where picks are posted. The little smart pill machine ain't running on hydroxychloroquine, but it is firing on all cylinders. There's a sleigh down at the fire hall. You better wear your safety equipment, or you might just make an ash of yourself. So keep your social distancing, wear your mask, and enjoy the most unique college football season we've ever had. Tennessee versus Georgia. Jeremy Pruitt and his musket fires hope the camouflage between the hedges improves their aim as they head to Athens on Saturday to see if these dogs will hunt. Kirby Smart and his red clay hounds, they got no trouble sniffing out the enemy, so you can be sure they'll just ask for some volunteers. Leonard's loser, Tennessee. Texas versus Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley and the Sooner Scooter head down I-35 this weekend in search of some prime beef. But when they get to Dallas, the only thing they're going to find is a stampeding herd. Tom Herman and his future Big Macs ain't got no fear of butchers, and they've been known to turn over wagons more than once. The Red River is going to be flowing with tears when this one is over, and those tears, they ain't going to be red. Leonard's loser, Texas. Florida versus Texas A&M. Dan Mullen and his swamp lizards leave the lake this weekend in hopes of showing that they can do as well on land as they do in the water, but they better figure it out how to avoid human contact and still spring surprise attack. Jimbo Fisher and his fighting farmers ain't got no appetite for this one, but they better get ready for the invasion while it's still early enough to matter. Leonard's loser, Texas A&M. Arkansas versus Auburn. Sam Pittman and his Red Hogs snort their way into Jordan Hare this Saturday with visions of picking out, but it'll take more than a healthy appetite to tame these tigers. Gus Malzahn and his orange and blue felines ain't got no high cholesterol, so they'll spend much of the afternoon just making bacon. Leonard's loser, Arkansas. Alabama versus Ole Miss. Nick Saban and his thundering pachyderms rumble next door to Oxford with a stampede in mind, but they'll need more than just a good memory of some recent scuffles with land sharks to be the highlight of the circus. Lane Kiffin and the, well, whatever you call them this week, they ain't got no white flag to run up, but they also ain't got no prayer. Leonard's loser, Ole Miss. I'll be right back after this word for dear old dad. How long has it been since you felt like a man? Do you have trouble with ED? Scientific studies show that 40% of men over 40 suffer from this affliction, as opposed to the 15% who actually enjoy it now that their partner has let herself go. Some of the most famous men in history have suffered from ED. Men like Superman. Yeah, a little old fact here, X-ray vision will wreak havoc on your love life, making you unable to uh, reproduce or, you know, even copulate. Men like Ivan the Terrible. Yeah, you know, he only had sex one time in his life. That's, you know, how he got his nickname. If you have trouble feeling like a man, then please call us soon at 1-800-438-4887. That's 1-800-GET-IT-UP. Call today and stop feeling like less than a man. Florida State versus Notre Dame. Mike Norvell and his tribe have a reservation Saturday for a revival meeting in South Bend, and they'll need more than a warrior mentality to survive this crusade with terms of peace. Brian Kelly and the Pope's pupils are well known for their hospitality, and they'll say a prayer to touch down Jesus at the start of the meeting. Once upon a time, this was a great national game, but then again, once upon a time, I weighed 127 pounds, which is what my right leg weighs right now. Leonard's loser, Florida State. Miami versus Clemson. Manny Diaz and his storm front roll into Death Valley on Saturday night, hoping to wreak some destruction on Auburn by the lake, but they'll find that lake ain't got enough water to energize this storm surge enough to drown a tiger. Dabo Sweeney and his frisky felines have the eye of the tiger and no fear, but it ain't going to be easy to walk out unscathed from a Category 5 storm. Miami will huff, 
Miami will puff, but they won't be able to blow down the house of Sweeney just yet. Lena's loser, Miami. Missouri versus LSU. As a 10-round cat fight and red stick on Saturday night, and the raging cages ain't exactly known for their hosting abilities when visitors come call it. Elia Drinkwitz and the Missouri Free Lions ain't clawed their way anywhere so far this year, and things don't look much better down on the bayou. Ed Orgeron and Swamp Kittens ain't got no litter box, so they'll just throw whatever they can till the cat fight concludes. Leonard's loser, Missouri. Mississippi State versus Kentucky. Mike Leach and his Air Raid Canines head to Lexington this week for the annual grudge match with the Blue Cats, but it'll take more than a good passing game to avoid getting scratched. Mark Stoops and the Kentucky Kittens ain't got nine lives left, and you never pick a cat to win a dog fight. Leonard's loser, Kentucky. Well, that's all for this week, neighbors, and I hope you'll do your part to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Wear your mask, social distance, and wash and sanitize your hands and groceries. I want you back next week, next month, and next year. Until next time, so long, neighbors. Get out of here, Percy. Litter will be back next week with another bunch of losers. Till then, this is Percy Peabody. Hoping you'll be with us. <laughs>